Customer service versus hospitality. Which one do you need at your restaurant? Hey, welcome. My name is Michael Tebow, recovering restaurant owner, caterer, turned author, coach, speaker, owner of DFY Marketing System, serving the independent restaurant community since 2008 getting you more new customers and getting your existing customers to come back quicker, spending more with no work on your part. And thank you. Thank you for opening up this video and watching it. I do appreciate it. Um, if you do me another favor and hit that subscribe button, I'll make sure you get money-making videos like this each and every week in your inbox. Um, so customer service versus hospitality. What's the difference? Customer service is uh, what you need to train your staff to do the mechanics of their job, uh, the front of the house in your restaurant, right? Your servers, your bartenders, your bus people, your hosts, um, they need to be able to perform the mechanics of their positions to uh, keep customers coming back. That's customer service. That's kind of like the price of admission, right? Um, but they need to have those fundamentals to be able to create a memorable dining experience, which also also involves hospitality. So customer service, what you're going to do is work on with your staff to make sure they can answer questions, uh, you know, from your customers about the menu, uh, you know, about the service, about in dishes, drinks, those type of things, because there's going to get a lot of questions. They need to be knowledgeable. That's a function of customer service. Uh, they need to make sure that the guests have everything that they need. You know, the silverware, the tables are clean, the menus are clean. You know, they have napkins, they have their drinks refilled. Those are all a function of customer service. Also, resolving any type of complaints, um, you know, or questions, like I said, that the guests might have, that's part of it. And providing you know, a clean, welcoming environment. So that's kind of like the price of admission nowadays, right? Uh, you need to be doing those, you know, as a basis of a foundation for a restaurant. But you also need hospitality. So the question being, you know, when you're talking to your staff, customer service and hospitality, you need both. They need to be blended together to be successful. Um, and so your staff's like, all right, well, what do you mean by hospitality? Hospitality is taking a customer and turning them into a guest. It's about that relationship building. It's about uh, creating a memorable dining experience, doing what you do so well that your customers can't help but tell other people about your restaurant. That's where hospitality comes in. So let me give you some examples of hospitality. Making that connection with the table, building that rapport, talking to them about why they're there at your restaurant. Are they there to celebrate something? Is it a special night out? Is it a date night? Is it an anniversary? Is it a birthday? Or are they just out to enjoy and get away and let somebody else do the cooking for a night? You know, find out a little information. Become a little personal, you know, with your tables. Your host can do it, your bartenders, your bus staff. Um, invite them back again tell them it's so wonderful to see you again we really appreciate your support and your loyalty here at our restaurant make that personal connection that's what's going to separate you from your competition and everybody else half of the reason why people come to your restaurant over and over again is to see your staff that's hospitality your staff needs to be able to create that you can't train nice you can train somebody for customer service and the mechanics of your position at your restaurant, but you can't train nice and you can't train personality. So it starts at the hiring process. You have to hire nice people that are going to make a personal connection. Like I said, when I had my restaurants, I can hire somebody that I can train to run a POS system to make you know, a margarita um, to figure out how to, you know, the proper way to serve a table. But I cannot train somebody to be nice, to be interesting, to be engaging, to make that personal connection with your guests. That has to be embodied in that person. So make sure that's what you're looking for when you're going to hire somebody. Um, just, you know, little things. You're looking for people that are going to be going out of the way. 
um, you know, to take care of your guests because in the way that you would take care of them yourself. That's hospitality. Do a little role playing with your staff at a meeting. That always worked great for us, right? Um, you know, teach them how to engage, how to understand who the person is is in charge of the table, how they should talk to that person, how they should deal with them, how they end um, a memorable dining experience. And that has to do with all aspects of your front of the house, your servers, your bus people, your hosts, right? Are they saying goodbye? Are they inviting them back? Are they talking to them about special events, right? It's just not about come on in, get the food, and leave in a timely manner, right? So you can turn the tables again. If they want that, that's down the road at fast food, right? That's McDonald's, Taco Bell, Burger King, Wendy's, whatever their choice, you know, fast food is. They're not there for a memorable dining experience. They're there for a quick meal that's cheap. They come to your restaurant because they're looking for a connection. They're looking for hospitality. So remember that you need both customer service and hospitality. Train your staff to make sure they have both those qualities. Thanks so much for watching this week's edition of Mike's Money Making Minutes, and I will see you next week. Have a fantastic week.